y'all. Welcome back to Divine Feminine Divine Masculine. Thank y'all so very much for being here. I'm getting a whole makeover. You're being made over. You're doing these makeovers. So, fam, you could do makeup or something. That's when your wife or something may do makeup. Don't know. Or your person could. But I'm, I'm seeing a whole transformation here. I'm seeing you out with the old, basically in with the new. There's that door to value, the sun car here. I feel like you're living it up. That song, Living It Up by Ja Rule, is significant. Maybe you should listen to that song. Happy family in the reverse, and you have deceit, so I already see what this is about. You're transforming because of this family unit. Something that you had to bring to an end, something that had to close out. It's a cycle that had to close out. I feel like you're very bold and courageous at this time, Divine Feminine Masculine. Like you're standing up for yourself, whatever this is. Somebody's fighting out. Some things that were not pleasant to hear is what I heard. There's journey. You, you got some news that was not pleasant to hear, but at least you heard it. You heard it first is what I heard. You heard the truth. Archangel Michael, why am I picking up this energy of somebody finding out some real messed up like news or, or something about your family member on Facebook or something like that, child? It's like everybody knows something except for you or something like that. I feel like that's in many angles of your life, though. It's like, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> your family, your family knows something that you just don't. And they're not telling you, but you're about to find out the truth. No matter what is what I heard. Angel of Balance of our you have Archangel Raphael here. I heard poison ivy. I'll be careful. I was also hearing something about glucose. So, um, somebody may be diabetic or something. Hostilities at the bottom of the deck. Indecision in the reverse. So, there's some kind of decision that you made or that you will make coming up here soon. Um, Divine Feminine Masculine. I heard whether you want to deal with this or not. The thinking man in the reverse. Somebody is somebody's just shutting off their whole mind. I'm, I'm getting a period of meditation. Or maybe you need to go into meditation. Somebody needs to go into isolation from these people. I'm also seeing coming up here soon that you're getting out more. Angel of love, like you're getting out. There was, there was something attached to you. There was some kind of attachment. Um, somebody, somebody wanted you waiting on something. They wanted you to be waiting, just just sitting around waiting on nothing. It's like somebody may have promised you something or, or said something they're not going to keep their word. Especially if this got something to do with money. This person is not going to keep their word. Fam, if somebody told you they was going to give you some money for your kids or something, they're lying. Baby daddy, whoever that says, I feel like you're used to this person lying anyway. I feel like that's going to be the ammunition you need to cut this person completely off. This person is just not going to do right. But this person definitely goes in the strip club. Temptation. What I said. They go in the strip club and spin, spin, spin. They, they, they go in the, in, the, uh, in the club and spin. They on the corner gambling. They'll spend money everywhere but with their kids. And this person, unfortunately, is taking a loss of their about to. This person going to um, show up at your house needing somewhere to stay. After they gambled to follow their money. Or they got robbed or something. I don't know what this is. Also, too, y'all need to, um, somebody brother named Ron or Don or something like that. Somebody is trying to set this person up to be robbed, okay? It's a feminine energy. It's a feminine here that's trying to set your brother up or your, your um, I don't feel like this is your dad. I feel like this is a brother or cousin or something. Or this, this don't even have to be blood relation. What I said, fam, that's when they don't got to be related by blood to you, but this person means a lot to you. They're like family. I heard blood don't make you family anyway. What I said, loyalty does. Also, too, somebody's about to find out the definition of loyal. Somebody's going to find out what it means to truly be loyal to the things that you say and the things that you do. What's here? I heard all you got is your word. Somebody watch a lot of Scarface. What's here? Shadow. 
in the reverse and then you have movement choices and decisions in the reverse too so somebody is being slowed down something is coming to the light i feel like it was i mean the truth was gonna come out sooner or later something definitely has been slowed down for somebody accelerated motion in the reverse any kind of motion or anything it's been completely slowed down i heard it's wired that way something is rigged that way Somebody needs to be slowed down, sat down because they're not listening or something like that. Yeah, suffering in silence. This person is hanging with the, with people they should not be with or something, suffering in silence. Also, too, somebody is struggling with something. They're just not saying anything. So you could be struggling with a transformation. <clears throat> Excuse me. And somebody's child also is going to come out to them. Like they're going to tell you that. You know, they prefer a certain sex or something like that. What's here? Material harvest and you have universe in the reverse. Somebody also has a very privileged family. This this family is very prestigious or something. They have a, a reputation for being, I heard, thugs. Like this is a, a, this is like a mob or something, a mob family. The waiting game. So hold up. Hold up now. I'm picking up on this pastor, this this damn pastor. This pastor's child is um, lesbian or they're gay or something like that. What's here? Rejoicing celebration in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's not going to be happy about this. It's a lot going on in your energy, but like I feel whoever you are, you're, you're, you're transitioning to a new phase. You've had a lot of enemies here. They have been defeated. Throw chakra in the reverse. These people have been dismantled, put down. Somebody is real, like, just snake-like in this damn energy here. Our foundation, new beginnings. So somebody's family is not going to be able to get somebody out of trouble. You dig a real skill? Somebody else is in trouble right here. Somebody's child is in trouble. Their wife or their husband or something. Your connections... This is not going to be able to get this person out of whatever this is. Somebody had been using their um, resources. Like they, they've been using people that they know or favors that people owe them. It's, th this, person, um, this person's family has a lot of people that owe them favors. Light in the reverse. Balance in the reverse. But something is still caught off guard. Like this person is still going to be caught off guard some kind of way. I mean, especially when it got to, when it got something to do with defeating you, this is not going to work. Somebody made you an enemy, and they feel like the um, it's like the pull that their family got. They feel like it's gonna get you put in a fucked up position or something, and it's not like somebody trying to bury someone in this energy. <clears throat> but I feel like you're just making the necessary changes that you need to make here, family. I'm whatever this is. You're not going to be touched by it. You're not going to be scathed is what I just heard here. We, these people with this powerful family or whatever the fuck, these, these folks don't have no, they don't have no favor with the most high. That's what I'm saying. And it's like they're, they're trying to, um, it seems like somebody may be trying to silence someone else <clears throat> simply because you may be speaking some kind of truth about what it is that these people are doing. They could have personally did something to you and you're speaking out about it. They want to shut you up. That's not what's going to happen. You're going to get justice. Or whatever this is, you're going to definitely get justice for it. Somebody's trying to perform a spiritual surgery here. Hold on, y'all.
Yeah, somebody playing games. They're trying to perform some kind of spiritual surgery or something. Somebody's trying to take something from you in the spirit. What's here? It's not going to work. I feel like somebody got caught in their tracks. They got stopped in their tracks. They're trying to extract something from you. But something changed, like, rather quickly. A change in the wind. Didn't I say something about zebra stripes or something yesterday? Seem like you're dealing with this same kind of energy over and over again. No place like home. Somebody is messing with someone while they're at home. I'm picking up on somebody looking through somebody's windows and shit. Somebody playing a dirty ass fucking game. Never ended story. Whatever this is, it's not going to end. This, this person, somebody has a vendetta towards you. And for a lot of you guys, I feel like you don't even know why. You don't even know this. This is somebody's family. Oh, I'm hearing. I'm hearing it's your person. Okay, here. What I said. Your person. It's, it's because of this person. But something will be balanced out with this to be fair card. Your person is in love with you. This person is a different race from you. And their family is a bunch of fucking races. Period. This person's family is sending all these fucking attacks to you. And these people are heavily in their occults. They're racist as fuck. I heard Uncle Tom. Somebody's name literally is Tom. These are some racist motherfucking bastards. Period. <laughs> Community in the reverse. They're trying hard to get you put out of something. Divine feminine. Why do I feel like this person that's being attacked is a divine feminine? Happy, happy. Delicious is significant. Delicious. Okay. By the book reverse. The one that was on Flavor Flav. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. Observer. I told you they watching everything. The e folk guy. These folk got the nerve to be some racist-ass bastards. And then not only that, they got people that are watching this feminist home or something. They don't want you to mend something with this person or come together with them at all. I don't feel like you know this person, though. I feel like this is some computer love. It's somebody, like, over the internet that's interested in you or something. And it's like, they family don't like you come to the edge in the reverse they don't like who you are they don't like the way you look like this um this person's mom been doing a lot of spell work on you divine feminine time to go and like i had mentioned before like all of this all of this shit that these people are doing to this feminine i don't feel she wants to even deal with this man anyway just simply off of what their family is doing, or fam. It's just like the shit that this person's family has taken this feminine through. Soulmates reverse. She don't want to do, she doesn't, she doesn't want anything to do with this person anyway. I feel. But one thing about it, fam, masculine, this person's family is still on your ass. And I said, I know for a fact that I mentioned a while ago that this person already is married to whoever they wanted them to marry. They're already, um, somebody's mom could be a doctor or their father could be, or their mother and their father is a doctor or something. They're surgeons. These people are trying to do a spiritual surgery on you. They're trying to take something from you, extract it from you, and then put it on this karmic bitch or something. They trying to take something from within you. These motherfuckers are trying to play operation with y'all folks and shit. That's not going to work. Whatever this is, it's not going to happen like that. But they're already in their relationship. This bitch is already pregnant. Whatever the case may be, she's already with this person. My thing is, why are they still... These people are still round and round reverse. I've seen 1444. They're still in your business. They're not letting up off of this feminine energy. Whoever whoever the fuck this bitch is, this person's mama. Like, this, this person's mother, bro. I have no respect for this hoe. This is a fucking witch. 
Her husband is a warlock. Their son is a fucking warlock. Like, all these people are witches and shit. So, like I said before, from all of the things that they have done to you, I don't feel like you want anything to do with their son. So, maybe there's trouble in paradise is what the fuck I'm hearing. I mean, I don't know what could be going on in this person's relationship with this other person, but it got nothing to do with you. Maybe things are rocky. It's, it's not going right or, or something like that. And they're blaming you for that, too. I mean, they should have known something was not going to be right when they were forcing this person to marry this bitch anyway. They were trying to make it seem like you were ghetto, you were a karmic, you were copying or whatever the case may be. But they're finding out that this bitch is ghetto. She's karmic. She's doing that's there to take, take, take from this damn man. And I feel like the damn mama and this bitch is in cahoots trying to take something from this damn masculine energy. I don't know what the hell this is. Either way it goes, this person is stuck in some kind of contract and they can't move forward. But it don't have anything to do with y'all. I don't feel like you've ever spoken to this person. This this woman is trying to get you put out of your home and everything. They want you to be uh, completely secluded from the world. Isolated, locked away, maybe even trying to get you locked up, Divine Feminine. That's not what's going to happen either. This person right here, like I said, they're trying to extract your gift from you. It's a gift that you have. They're trying to take it from you by doing some kind of spiritual surgery and put it in this karmic hole. And that's just not what the fuck is going to happen here. These people have completely lost their mind. Nothing has changed with these people. I'm telling you, change in the reverse. You got house reverse and then concern. This person is very concerned about having you on the streets. They're very concerned. My thing is, you're not in contact with this man or this woman. They're already married to somebody else. So why in the fuck is this bitch still in your energy? Like I said, shawty is fucking obsessed. I know I had said that in that same reading. Yeah, child. This is this, this person's mom or something. And like I said, the bitch is pregnant, but they're false. This person fake as fuck. And I feel like the mother knows this. They knew this bitch wasn't of high value when they told them to marry this man. Or when they were forcing this man to marry her or something. Their family could have money or something. But it's something about this bitch. Somebody's child is about to fuck up the whole family is what I'm saying. Somebody's child has done something or they're doing something or they will do some, some dumb shit and they're going to have this family in a bind. And nobody that they know, they're not going to be able to get out of whatever this is. Okay, here. I feel like you're happy, you're content with your life. The spirit reverse, thoughts reverse. You're not even thinking about this. But somebody was wondering where their um, their masculine, what their, your masculine is already married to someone else or your feminine. They're already, they were forced to be married to somebody else. Message in the reverse. I'm getting some real Aladdin energy here. Like somebody was forced. Like they, they got some kind of tradition that they go by or something. I don't, I don't know whose family, whether it's this woman's family or this man's family. I just feel like um, I heard Manson, Manford or some Mansford or something like that. This, this person right here, their family is controlling anyway. They definitely stopped this person from going on their journey with you. But see, my thing is they, they were successful at blocking the relationship. So why are they still blocking this feminine? It's like anybody that you date, these people are sending them people into your life. Y'all y'all better be careful. Nika, Nisha, you better be cautious of these people that's coming into your life because these people got a lot of money. They got a lot of pull. They be sending people to y'all. And you would think like, oh, I'm, I'm in a different state. I'm somewhere completely different. And I met somebody. Ain't no way that they were sending. Man, these people got tracking devices on everything you have. Main female in the reverse. For some reason, they feel the need to keep up with you privileged lady and then tell me why i feel like this man done ran away or some shit this this nigga done got the fuck on him from this bitch and they can't find him so now they're attacking you it's like they want you completely out of the way so that this person won't think of you at all family room i'm trying to tell you this man was forced to have a child with this person or something like that or they were forced to marry this person they were being threatened this, this person's mama was threatening you, saying that they'll have you killed and all that bullshit. Fuck, like, this bitch right here, real foul. This hoe right here talk real foul on your name. And this man do too, both of them. But this person's child, somebody's child is about to get the whole family fucked up. And ain't nobody gonna have no respect for these people. Their money ain't gonna be able to buy them out of something. In fact, these folks finna end up paying you. That's what they're going to do. And whatever they're doing, it's not gonna work simply. 
They're not about to run you out of your fucking neighborhood. If you move somewhere, you're going to stay there. I mean, in, unless the father is telling you to move, bitch, please. Where the, why the fuck does where you live at got anything to do with this fucking man? For a lot of y'all, you live in a damn apartment. Like, what the fuck? This bitch don't, well, she wants you to be homeless. It's something that you do for work or something that this man be watching you or something. This bitch don't want you to be able to be seen. She doesn't want this man looking at you. Look, main male in the reverse, occupation reverse. It's something that you do for work. She wants you to stop working because she wants her son to stop watching you. Bitch, I feel like you need to gouge this nigga's eyes out then, bitch. That's what you need to do. You not, Why are you trying to take it out on this feminine hoe? It's a death here. Great fortune reverse. This person right here is finding out that money ain't everything or whatever the fuck they thought they had. That shit don't mean nothing without their person. Without the person that they actually want to be with. But see, this masculine, like I said, they're very weak. This person is weak as fuck. They let people threaten them and, and take over their fucking life. And see, you're of high honor. You're of high value. This person didn't stand up for you. They didn't fight for you. They knew some shit that you didn't. Fuck all that, oh, I was trying to protect you shit. Yeah, whatever, bro. What I said, somebody was trying to protect you. But then, they how hard was they protecting you when this bitch right here is psychotic and she's stealing this divine feminist energy? She's trying to literally steal something from this feminist. She's trying to take something from her. Steal. Like, you're, this person is married to someone completely different. They have forced this person to marry, forced them to, to get this person pregnant, whatever the case may be, to keep some kind of tradition going. Okay, he's done that. This bitch is still trying to steal from this divine feminine. I told y'all, now this shit is just complete envy. This bitch is just jealous of this feminine. She just don't like this feminine for who this feminine is. This bitch done made this shit personal. It ain't got nothing to do with, oh, I don't want you with that person because they're a bad influence or something like that. No, it ain't got shit to do with that. This person is a hater. And they like, oh, so you going to continue to watch them? You going to continue to to uh, try to reach out to them? You going to continue to do this? Okay, they going to try to come get rid of the vibe. But bitch, knock your son off then, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? The hell, you knock your son off. You trying to take the feminine out. This feminine don't even have any idea that this man is in love with her. What the fuck is you talking about, you racist ass bitch? You a racist ass hoe. You had this little young fishy bitch marry this man simply for his money. Y'all people be trying to steal and have motherfuckers kill and shit. Girl, knock your son the fuck off. That's what I'm saying, bitch. You hiring hitman and all of that. Trying to have them come up into this feminist home and shit. Send them motherfuckers acting like they, um, with the cable company and all this bullshit. Fuck like they with the gas company and shit. Bitch, ain't nobody fucking dumb. Fuck wrong with you. You follow this person every fucking where they go. Everywhere this person goes, you're following them. You're having some kind of eyes on them. That's just what it is, bitch. You don't want your son watching this person. This bitch do not want this man to be into you at all. I'm telling you. This bitch is trying to get you locked up, fam. Y'all folk need to be cautious. This bitch right here going to try to plant drugs on somebody. Somebody is trying to plant drugs on someone in their home or in their car. So, excuse me, then the bitch going to call the police and get them your tag number and shit. This is a dirty hoe. This bitch is dirty. I'm literally hearing this hoe. Oh, so you ain't going to stop watching them? You, you still in love with them? Okay. I got something for that. The, the, the solution that this bitch comes up with is trying to knock the divine film off. Bitch, that shit is rejected, ho. You got issues within your own fucking family. And like I said, you just want money, bitch. You're sitting back holding grudges on this feminine for no reason. Knock your son off, ho. That's what I'm saying. Put a hit on his motherfucking ass. He's the one who can't stop fucking watching. Bitch, that's what I'm saying. He's the one who's infatuated with this feminine. You tripping, bitch. This hoe be fake smiling at these uppity ass uh, fucking parties and shit. <laughs> Child, get your raggedy ass up out of here with this shit. Bitch, you are raggedy as fuck. And you're going to be the one going to jail. You're going to be the one that's going to get locked up. This bitch going to end up getting locked up. It's their last chance trying to travel and fucking steal. Like I said, they're not going to be able to steal shit. This bitch is trying to steal something from this feminine. And the hoe is a doctor, period. This is a racist ass cunt.
This is a racist ass bitch, period. And then too, ho, let's talk about how you racist as fuck with your goddamn your your patience, bitch. Let's talk about that too. You're a racist ass bitch. You pick and choose who the fuck you want to help. Jack is in the reverse. If they skin look like yours, you'll help them. If not, bitch, you treat them real fucked up, ho. Why are you even a doctor? How did you even become a doctor? I heard it was off of your husband. Bitch, don't let's let's fucking talk about how you really ain't even really go to school, bitch. It seemed like somebody paid to license you. It seemed like you paid money, like your husband or somebody. <laughs> bitch, what I'm picking up on is you're not even truly a valid doctor. You bought something. You bought this, um, this person's mother never went to school to be a doctor. Sis did not spend no eight years or more in school to be a doctor. The bitch ain't spent eight days in school to be a doctor. It's something about these folk, they can buy shit. But see, that's dangerous. This feminine is too busy winning, bitch. And whatever issues you try to bring her away, she's going to conquer She's gonna be victorious. So let me let me guess. This bitch is cheating on this man. But then I say that. I also said that. Dirty offer. I also said that this bitch was still stuck on her ex. That this relationship, this love wasn't real. Neither one of these people, Divine Feminine, let me tell you something. I don't even feel like this bitch that this man is married to. I don't feel like she's attacking you. Because she don't even want to be with him. She didn't want to marry him either. They forced these people to marry each other. But this this mama, the mother, the mother, the mother is here. She be talking about you to him. Like him and his wife. They they talk about their real true loves with each other. I feel like these people got a, a nice bond for what it is. I mean, what else could you do when you're married to somebody? But they, they have figured out that they don't want to be together. But this person's already pregnant. I heard it ain't even this man, baby. <laughs> man, when I tell you this is like the energy that I'm picking up on these people, bro. This is this is literally like some this is some rich royal shit. Like these folks got a lot of money. They don't want you in their bloodline. They don't, they don't want you to be a part of um, their bloodline. Girl fight reverse. This person is even on the computer trying to dress some shit up and make it seem like it's a karmic energy attacking you, Divine Feminine, that's, you know, interested in your person. No, it's their fucking mother that's bothered. It's their mom that's doing this shit. This is a raggedy losing bitch is what I'm saying. This person is getting a shit. This person is getting bad karma. We, they're getting their karma. They're getting bad karma. You're getting good karma. Good karma. We. This bitch right here sends grown ass men to try and, you know, <laughs> do whatever the fuck. This is the last offer that this bitch made was maybe to try to kidnap someone. This person was trying to have a feminine energy kidnap boss daddy. It's all about this masculine. I'm telling you, this bitch is a doctor. Sandra, this hoe's a doctor or something. This, she's not a nurse. I don't know how the fuck this bitch got to be a doctor because I'm telling you, sis did not go to school to be no doctor. It seemed like somebody literally paid. She paid someone or maybe her husband or her dad. Maybe, I don't know. But these people, bro, it's a lot of these doctors and shit. These folk didn't go to school for shit. These folk begin, they, they pay off motherfuckers to get licensed, to get certified. Straight up, bro. Screenshots. This person right here gonna get a DUI. And they gonna sweep that shit right up under the rug. But why I feel like this bitch right here gonna be on camera? Somebody, somebody child is involved in the DUI. I heard vehicular homicide. They gonna try to sweep that shit under the rug, but they don't see that somebody else got proof of something, and they're gonna release that shit. 
They feel like they money gonna buy them out of something. Your money is not gonna buy you out of whatever this is, bitch, is what I'm telling you. Somebody does not have the protection that they thought that they had. This is what I'm saying. Look at this. Stalker, queen, uh, queen rising, and then moving on. Anywhere this feminine goes, this bitch has her follow. I'm telling you. <laughs> In case you feel like somebody be watching every move you make, yeah. This bitch got people watching every move that you make. It's this person's mama. I'm telling you. And see, my thing of it is, this person is very fast. They're bothered. My thing of it is, you don't know anything about this. Only these people do. Only this man knows he's in love with you. How the fuck you gonna fall in love like this over somebody on the damn internet? Man, get the fuck up out of here with this shit. You mean to tell me you this in love with somebody from the internet? I mean, you can find love anywhere, but goddamn. Like, man, get the fuck up out of here with this, bro. Like, this is a whole lot of bullshit. Like, you... I feel like this this person right here don't want anything to do with this masculine energy just simply off of what they had to endure from their family. Like this this person's family has literally caused this feminine to miss a lot of opportunities, last chance. Like they have stood in the way of so many different things. And this it's this person's mama. And now they're fed up. I wonder do they know that their mama was doing this shit? Because a lot of these people know. Somebody named David. Lilies are significant, roses, rubies or something. Play out. Something is just fucking old. And something is old. O W E D. This person owes. <clears throat> Owens. Owens B. Owens B. It's my name. Shelby or Sheldon or Shelton or something like that. Like I feel, the bitch trying to bring legal issues to divine feminine. That shit is blocked. Whatever this is you're trying to do, it's blocked, honey. This person is rising and they're going to rise. That's just what it is. That's their calling. To be above and beyond, ho. The fuck wrong with you? Like I said, you're blocked. This is an impersonator. This person right here is your copycat too. This bitch right here trying to copy divine feminine. Girl, are you sick? Like, what the hell is wrong with you, ho? You need to check in. You need to get in one of them hospital gowns and bed, bitch. You need to get in one of them one of them beds and them gowns and shit. That you be having these patients get in who you don't give a fuck about, bitch. This is a sideline-ass doctor. This bitch right here always, they always, like, shadowing under a, a real doctor. Anytime they're on shift... This person only takes like little minor shit. They have never done a major procedure or anything like that. This bitch is not a real doctor, bro. On paper, they are. But this person is not. Even the time that they've been in this hospital, they still ain't got no hands-on experience being a doctor. This person gonna get called out one day. One day, it ain't gonna be no doctor to shadow. And this bitch right here gonna be on her fucking own. Can't go calling another doctor. And break down fucking crying. Because that's what this bitch gonna fucking do. She's gonna be looking real stupid. I'm telling you, this bitch is impersonating a doctor. This whole done bought. They done bought a, a license or something. A PhD, whatever the fuck this is. Like, these folk know people. Like, they know the people that do the, the uh, entry for this shit. You know how you can look up a doctor or you can look up an attorney. Like, and, and their name will pop up. Whoever does that kind of registry, they know these people or they paying them very fucking well. One or the other. They're paying to keep something active. Yearly. Uh, I was going to say subscription, but like, this is like a subscription because it bitch definitely paying for this shit. But um, like a yearly registry or something to keep something active, to keep their license valid. Man, I'm telling you, they might be paying these folks up to $100,000 a year. Simply to keep something like, bitch, if you don't pay all that money, you might as well just like, what the fuck? Like, that shit is stupid. What, what are you trying to portray to be a doctor for? Unless you're still in medicine and shit, or unless this is just a cover up to write as many prescriptions as you need or something. Bitch, let's talk about that. Let's just talk about that. Like, this, this feminine ain't the problem, ho. That's what I'm trying to, like, it's a lot of shit. That this man don't know about his mama. But she tried to put this feminist business on front line. This hoe tried to put this feminine 
on, on like the line of fire because your light irritate they demons right here, fam. Same shit, different day, talking bullshit. This bitch, they, this person never leaves out this feminist energy. This bitch be at work with headphones in, listening to this feminine, listening to your podcast or whatever this is you have going on here, fam. This bitch be listening to everything you're doing. And they're trying to spiritually steal something. That's not going to go like that. It's not going to go like that at all. They can't take your gift. This bitch right here thinks she can buy everything. Just pay for something and I can have it. Nah, bitch. That's not how this works. You have to be born with these gifts. It's my name, Rhonda. Or Rain. Lorraine. Lorraine. And you still trying to have this feminine lose her car. She's not, bitch. In fact, she's about to get a brand new Benz, is what I heard. Or a BMW. I'm seeing the words AMG, so this definitely is a Benz. But whatever the case may be, ho, she about to get a brand new vehicle. What the fuck are you talking about, ho? This person don't need shit from your son. This person don't need shit from your daughter. Whatever the case may be, they don't need shit from these people. So why are you stalking them? My question is, why are you still in their energy? You have literally fucked up this connection. Congrats, ho. So what is it that you want now? You're trying to take this feminist essence. It's not going to happen. You can threaten this person all day long to marry somebody. I mean, that's easy for you. All these hitmen and shit that you see and fall in love with this feminine. Everybody that you see and falls in love with this person or they get so fucking shook, they ain't going to come nowhere near this person. 36, 36, bitch. It's time for you to go. You are a real creep in this energy and you about to go to jail. You're going to jail for something. I don't know which one of these crimes you committed you're going to jail for. Excuse me. But you're going to answer for trying to take from this family. Excuse me. Because like I said, whatever you may control your son or something. Or divine feminine. This person may control their son, but they don't fucking control you in your life. This bitch also has been stalking your children. But it's something that this, this family, they got a daughter or something. And this little dumb bitch finna do some stupid shit, is what I'm saying. And this family ain't gonna be able to get out of it. It's not gonna be anyone that you gonna pay to get out of this. And that's courtesy of your own karma. Y'all folks so smart, you fucking slow. And like I said, this bitch, she's sitting around looking you up and shit. This hoe should have been on Google asking how to be a doctor <laughs> or something. Because you're definitely about to be tested, bitch. And you're going to fail. Somebody also knows that you are not an actual doctor. Like you really didn't go to school for something. You've been putting on this facade for the last decade, it seems like. And you're being called out. I don't see how a person with this many skeletons in their goddamn closet. Like, this, this person got a whole lot of secrets. I don't know how a person like this is trying to ruin your life. I don't know. But something about to hit the fan. Something definitely about to hit the fan. And they're ignoring this. These are a bunch of karmics. Like I said, fam, I don't feel like it's this karmic. I don't feel like it's the person that this man is married to. Because I feel like they both were forced. I feel like this girl's dad forced her to marry him. And his mother. Like, they might be fucking each other or some shit. I don't know. But this girl has a very strict father. And this man has a very strict mother. And they made them marry. Literally. They were threatening you. Both of them. This, this girl got a, a love, a first love or something, and her dad was threatening him. I mean, it's the same shit. Her dad is a fake-ass doctor. Somebody mama or they daddy is a fake-ass doctor, period. And, like, if both of their parents are doctors, one of them is a real, like, one of them really truly went to school, and the other one did not. They bought, they bought some kind of degree, period. This vending machine-ass degree is what I heard. <laughs> Spirit got jokes today. <laughs> Spirit said this is a vending machine degree. <laughs> oh my God. The movie Creed is significant. 
The movie Creed is definitely significant. Dang, they can't even fit in there. I'm gonna leave it right here, Fan Boss Remember that guy loves you and so do I. Bye, y'all.